your first alert forecast with meteorologist Chelsea Aaron. All right, Chelsea, I have a couple words to describe today. It's a mess. It's a mess yeah. and it kind of makes you feel tired. Mm -hmm. Extra hard to get up this morning. Yes, it is rainy. It's gloomy out there, but the good news is I don't think we're going to be tracking much thunderstorm activity good. or even any strong storms. Claudia live look across the shoals this afternoon. Again, skies are overcast and we are tracking more of a stratiform rain. What is stratiform rain? Well, it's relatively uh, continuous and uniform in intensity, so most of this just very light showers, but we're tracking then from northwest Alabama all the way to I-65. Northeast Alabama, you're still a bit on the drier side, but showers will continue to spread across the region, likely throughout the rest of the afternoon. No heavy downpours out there. All of the green and blues are good, but with several rounds of rain already this week, please continue to take it easy on the roadways. You could see some slick spots at times. Seeing some rain back towards Racy Lacey Springs, excuse me, New Hope. Some more moderate to heavy downpours occurring in portions of Coleman back down near Highway 278 towards 69. But again, no strong nor severe activity is happening, and I think that's very unlikely as we head throughout the rest of the day. Some heavier downpours occurring back to our west in portions of Louisiana, also towards central and southern Alabama, but most of us just going to be seeing light drizzly rain. Temperatures held back due to all of the rain chances and cloud cover today. In perspective, our average for this time of year right at 92 degrees. This is a nice change of pace upper 70s, low 80s out there here in Huntsville, right at 76 degrees. The shoals sitting at 81 degrees. We will track rounds of rain likely through your evening hours, but I think model guidance is trending the rain chances back once we head into your late evening and overnight hours. So taking you out hour by hour, we might see some isolated pockets of moderate to heavy downpours, but again, not tracking any threats really in terms of lightning or even brief gusty winds. We will track the rain through the afternoon, but by your evening commute, I think rain chances will start to trim back. Most locations looking dry overnight and overnight lows will fall back into the upper 60s and low 70s with more rain likely for your early morning commute on Thursday. Thursday, we will be tracking the potential for more storms in the forecast. So just like days in the past, some of these storms will be locally strong at times, but no widespread severe weather threat is likely. We will track more rain and storms into your upcoming weekend. Do not fret though your weekend likely trending less in coverage in terms of those rain chances and temperatures going to be warming up again back near 90 degrees on both Saturday and Sunday. We keep isolated rain chances and the forecast likely for the early part of next week. But next week we look to be in a pattern change where we're going to be trending likely drier and also much hotter.